In this town we call home, everyone hail to the pumpkin throne. <laughs> oh, I've done that again. Why? Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name's Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now, if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content like outtakes and my Vocal Anatomy 101 series. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, I mean, it doesn't need that much explaining, but we are into Halloween week. I decided to become a pumpkin like my brethren all over here. Uh, and we're just gonna get cracking. There's gonna be loads of different styles covered and today we are covering Cradle of Filth who are a metal band. I've not listened to Cradle of Filth in a long time so let's just get cracking and see what we can hear. Oh we're listening to her ghost in the fog so it's the music video. Let's go. Mm-hmm already spooky vibes oh it's ominous Okay, so that sounds like it's either double tracked, so you're hearing like layered voices so it gets thicker, or they've recorded it like in a higher pitch and then they've kind of digitally pulled that down. It gives this really muddy kind of sound. I mean, this is a music video, so I know that it's been mastered in some degree, but I just can't tell which. But it sounds very, very thick and really kind of, <laughs> I want to say soupy, and I don't know why I want to say soupy, but that's what I'm going with. Cool stuff though. But, oh, no tears, Fear and pain may have in death. But it is desire that shepherd in certainty as we shall see. Yeah, there's multiple voices in there because I can hear one that's kind of up in a conversational kind of pitch. And then there's one that's down here. And when you start layering up all of these things together with all the textures, you get this. It, it's very spooky. It kind of sounds like a legion of people are talking to you through one voice. It's used in horror films quite a lot. You hear multiple people speaking um, at once to make this kind of otherworldly sound. Very cool. She was the villainous creature that kissed a gold mirrors. A queen of Okay, I need to take a little second. I think his name's Danny Filth. I could be wrong. He is doing so many different textures with a toneless voice. So by toneless, I mean there's no kind of pitch in there. Uh, he's using slack folds, which is a fry. Ah, he's pulling it up into higher register to get that kind of sound. And then he's also doing these little glottal stops. So glottal is like a hard um, push. Ah, 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 ah. So it's kind of got this creepy kind of sound. It's really cool. Um, not the easiest thing to do um, just off the bat. I mean, he's obviously developing a style using this kind of sound, but it just gives you this kind of almost it's like the vocal equivalent of like stop animation if that makes sense it's very jittery and you get this um 
weird kind of movement of it. It's really cool. It's starting to move into more kind of fry kind of screamy sounds. Um, so we'll just see where it goes. But this is really cool. <laughs> Yes, so that is definitely like a fry scream. There's not a pitch that I can determine in there. It sounds like it's coming from a high pitch, but it sounds to me like there's a stretching of the folds, which would indicate that you're wanting a high pitch, but he's still keeping it slack enough that it's just um, an erratic airflow sound. Ah, up there, kind of there, rather than... Oh. It's the same process. I just have different kind of um, intensity to my folds when I'm doing it. So what he's doing is he's mixing in some um, actual pitch and then he's jumping onto a fry scream so it's in keeping with that range, if you like. Very, very good. Okay, there's so much going on. I'm not sure if these low end notes are also being done by Danny and the high fry screams. They're, it's likely that they probably are. So those low ones can be made in a different way. Um, it could be that he's blowing air through a relaxed larynx. I think um, that's called for, false chord screams um, to people that are kind of adept in metal. It's where you go and push air through a quite a relaxed position. He's kind of rounding that out with oh kind of sounds, so you get this real rounded uh, fullness to it. Um, but if he's jumping from really low to really high fry screams, then he's got excellent fine control over his vocal folds. The women there, I can't comment too much because their voice is quite low in the mix. Um, it didn't sound hugely operatic, although it had that kind of shade to it. Um, it was much lighter than an operatic voice. There wasn't much anchoring or pushing of that sound. Um, it was very kind of floaty and light. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> these screams are just incredible they are like banshee wails they can't kind of rip at you almost i'd be really interested to hear him doing that uh like live without a microphone i just want to hear what that sound is like in its rawest form because i bet it's like proper Ah, scratchy. I love it. I absolutely love that sound. The conversational part was quite um, cool with the two of them. You could hear that she was basically doing just regular speech almost with a little bit of a lower larynx to project that kind of importance. Um, and then he was just having a great time doing all these voices. He'd be an amazing character actor. <laughs> This is also layered vocals, so you can hear there's a bottom part and a top part. Um, there could also be a mid part in there as well. 
this is really balancing the fullness of that sound. So you've got that raw, raw, raw kind of croaky sound at the bottom, and then kind of almost uh, cro croaky sound at the top. They are balancing in that kind of um, element, but then you've also got a whisper in there as well, I think. So there's just loads and loads of different textures and tastes coming through here. It's really good. <laughs> Also, this video reminds me of the Mets advert back in the 90s, the Judder Man, who I dressed up as once. If I can find a picture, I'll put it up there somewhere. Um, it's really spooky, very, very creepy, and it kind of has that stop animation kind of look to it, um, like I was saying with his voice. So the actual imaging is mirroring what we're hearing. It's playing backwards. Oh, it's finishing. That band are amazing. Oh, bye. <laughs> That was really, really good. That band are fantastic. I loved the drum work. I loved pretty much everything about it, but the drums really stuck out to me there. All that double pedal stuff. Dug -a -dug -a -dug -a -dug -a -dug -a -dug Just gives your, gets your heart going. Amazing. Very good. So that was Cradle of Filth. Fantastic stuff. Let's hear some more of them. Uh, let's hear some live stuff. Chuck me some links. We'll do it. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you will be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and how are we going to buy this one? I really have no idea. Um, so I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and... Bye! <laughs> I have no idea what that was. But, uh... Yeah, see ya, bye! <laughs>